So if you guys will take a look here, what I'd like you guys to do is be able to graph the equation. Okay? Now, or I'm sorry, write the equation of this. So I'm going to tell you guys, what we did before comes really, really important. So when you're doing this and you have this on a quiz or a test, please, please, please put it in the bottom bin. Graph the information that you have. Remember, a vertex is a point, a focus is a point, and a directrix is a line. So in this example, we have our vertex is at 0, 0. Label it. Focus is at 0, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, just based off of this information, I know a lot about my equation. I know a lot. One thing is I know that my vertex always opens up to its focus, always. So that means what should be squared now? x, right? And then also, I know that the distance from the vertex to the focus is our value of p. And since that's going up, I know that p is also positive, right? So we can even count. We can do 1, 2, 3, 4. p is equal to 4. And this coordinate point, we could also say that that is 0, 0 is my vertex. Because that's your h and that's your k. Right? So think about what we know, guys. We know h, we know k, we know what variable squared, and we know what p is. Do we have enough information to write the equation? Yeah. Of course we do. So the equation is going to look like this. x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Notice how that equation is similar to this, but it's a little bit different. I only gave you guys one equation. I mean, I can get, you guys can write down the other equation if you want. And if you want the formal notes, I can give it to you. But in my, in my experience, it's just a waste of time to try to memorize all this stuff. The best thing is to understand, know what you're given. So we have x minus 0 squared equals 4 times 4 times y minus 0. Done. 